Okay. <laughs> we going? Yeah. Hey, it's Joshua Suzanne at Rags A Go Go, and guess what? This young lady just walked in here, and she's really interested. We get to talking, and I was like, "You did what?" So first of all, what is your name? My name is Mira. Mira, and Mira, you were where? Just you just got back from where? First of all, I just got back from living in New Delhi, India. India, where I've never been, but I've heard an awful lot about it. And there's a lot of Americans that have traveled over to India, yeah, that's and New true. Delhi. And that's what, true. What, um, what made you go over there? What were you doing? I had just graduated from university, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I mean, I knew what I wanted to work with, but I didn't know what I exactly I wanted to do. Uh huh. So, but I did know I wanted to live somewhere drastically different than the U.S., so I just sort of moved to India. That's different. Yeah, it was very different. And uh, when you got there, did you know what you wanted to do when you got there, or did, you, did something happen when you got there and um, you decided to do I'd done project? a lot of preliminary research, but okay. none had really gone through because people in India don't as much function online as much as they do in person, I feel uh -huh. like. And what so were you going for? What was this that you were going for? What were you doing the preliminary stuff for what? I was hoping to do something with mental health in India and uh -huh. try, sort of trying to compare, because that's what I, what I did a lot in my undergraduate. With I mental did, health I did issues mental and health and neuroscience. So I really wanted to do something. I did a lot of mental health stigma And neuroscience, work. wow, that's yeah. intense. Yeah. Uh -huh. In um, <laughs> How the brain is wired. Yeah, exactly. Or unwired. Or unwired. Uh -huh. Or wired differently. Um, so I really wanted to do something with that, so I went, I Why New Delhi? Was it just, uh, did you just want to go to India? Was it something yeah, particular I wanted, about? Yeah, I wanted to go to India. Uh -huh. and, and what did you, uh, so what did you find out then? What was the, uh, what was the main difference between mental health in New Delhi in India and mental health here? I mean, I think there are a lot of differences. Some of the more interesting ones, one of, one would be there are differences in tradition, like a lot of differences in cultural tradition vary drastically from our traditions in the U.S. So, uh -huh. for example, I talked to a woman who's, um, who was, uh, whose husband had just had a bipolar breakdown, mm -hmm. a really severe bipolar breakdown, and she was living with her in-laws, and the in-laws were convinced that it was her fault she was doing black magic mm. on her husband, which I think is actually incredibly... I talked to two other people who had similar-ish stories, so it's very common to sort of think of more of the dark side. It's really interesting when we try and find the cause for something and when it becomes other people rather than actually looking at the person themselves. I mentioned somebody to you uh, that I know whose husband had a schizophrenic breakdown and um, the, the family of the husband was trying to blame her for wow. his, that she had pushed him to some sort of edge and he finally had a breakdown. But that's not really it. I mean, he was predisposition to schizophrenia, yeah, yeah. basically. Family and and maybe, and maybe something did push him or maybe yeah. not, but you know, um, you were also saying that it's much more of a stigma over India. Yeah, it's definitely much more of a stigma to have any sort of mental disorder in India. I mean, it's also s obviously severely stigma stigmatized in the yeah, U.S. Yeah. as well. Uh -huh. But it's in India, if you, if anyone finds out that you have suffered or had a breakdown, uh -huh. it's incredibly difficult to find a job, mm. to find housing. And how's the help then? Do people get help? Is there medications? Are they aware? I mean, it's, how is the? I think the help for those who can afford it is there, okay. but... Kind of like here. Kind of like here. <laughs> yeah. For those who are who are poor, a lot of them are admitted to government hospitals, which are really, can vary drastically. There can there are some good ones, but a lot of them are really Where do you bad. want to go with all of this? What do you want to do with this? Do good you know? question. <laughs> so I've been thinking about the last few days since I've been back. I really don't know. Okay. I'm really sure it's going to go somewhere. Yet. I hope so. Yeah. Did you keep a journal and everything and, you know, write yeah, down and definitely. all of that stuff? I kept, I kept some good notes. Excellent. So hopefully those will give me some. How can people find out more about what you've done? Can anyone go to, like, do you have a website? Or do you have something going on <laughs> that people can find out a little bit more? Mm, I, I have a blog, but okay. I didn't, I didn't talk completely about the mental health stuff. Okay. Um, it was, it? it's a uh, rabbit king at WordPress. Rabbit King at so rabbitking.wordpress.com. Rabbitking.wordpress.com. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Right on. <laughs> Listen, what is your name again? Mira. Mira. Joshua Suzanne, once again. Mira, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank yeah, you for your purchase here at Rags A Go Go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep going, girl. This is really, really exciting. I'm fascinated you. with what you're up to. Thanks. Right on, right on. I'm sure you guys are too. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yay, we'll see.